Hello everyone, a heartily welcome to you all and thank you all for joining me in our third episode of Sweden. It's not our part in Europa Universalis 4. So thank you all greatly for joining me and let's continue our build up of the, well, I'll say we are going to get the world's largest empire. The world's largest empire. I hope you are going to enjoy it. Feel free to drop any comment and also if you ask why I am not converting provinces it takes too long and uh, I can only convert one province right now I think it takes like 80 months and it may risk an uprising so and I have other priorities so I just if I could convert more and if would and if it would take less I would do it but it takes far too long right now and I intend to convert them when I converted my religion you can guess, uh, please write in the comments like what you think to which religion I'm going to convert. That's up to you, but I think you are quite certain already. Okay. <coughs> One tip, it won't be anything uh, unhistorical. Alright, so where were we? Yeah, I can... Okay, it only takes 45 months actually, but yeah, 535 months is, not, is certainly not worth it. Let's see, well, I could convert Cola, actually, this yeah I could do, but uh, well the thing is yeah mm, does it really make sense since I will no, let's let it be let's let the auto max okay uh, all right then uh, what we are doing let's continue the game I actually forgot I got my navy built up there are barks let's get our strong navy into uh, Stockholm. Alright, where is my big navy there? It was in the Baltic Sea. Oh, look, Poland annexed all of the Teutonic Order, so I think it's a uh, rest in peace. Great expectations. Um, uh, this crumble highs of the hero attempt. We'll remember that we came with their help. Okay, let's help the Queen Consort. I guess that's acceptable. Oh, the du Duke of Burgundy dies. The great Duke Charles died, and what? What? Why did Castile inherit the lands and why... Oh, that's quite weird. Alright, is Castile the Emperor? Well, I... I'll write to the 6th year of God land. Did they change something? I was quite certain that Austria should have gotten the land and... Um... Why did... Uh, Castile go... That's, that's weird. That, that's quite weird. Okay. You have no idea what just happened there. If you know why uh, Castile got the land and not uh, Austria, let me know. I have no clue, that's for sure. Oh, that we have nine barks, they're gonna go to trade mission, let's see. They get the biggest profit in the Baltic Sea. Oh, actually, Poland controls the Baltic Sea, oh, that's not acceptable, is it? We have to be the dominant ruler in the Baltic Sea, let's see. Oh, now we are, yeah, dominant in the Baltic Sea. Let's see. Uh, would it be better if I, let's check the trade note, they... Yeah, we have to collect, I guess, from the Baltic Sea. Let's actually change it from Lübeck to the Baltic Sea. And see if it's actually better that way. Uh, 3, 2, 5, 6. It's actually worse if we collect it there. Hmm. 3, 85. Let's uh, collect it from the from Lübeck. Collect it uh, from Lübeck. I think we have to transfer from Novgorod. Novgorod. Novgorod, let's uh, transfer it right I think that's better. Like, it's flowing... In the Baltic Sea that way. Uh, I guess it's not really surprised. It's 3.48. I think my outpost was the best. Yeah, if we collect from Novgorod as well, that's the best way. Yeah, okay, we're getting four from Good Right. Let's get the bonus technology. I really have to focus myself on. Okay, I'm focusing. Myself on the administrative. I, uh, I'm only level 4 on that. It's because I waged so many wars and yeah. Look to that. Moscow is in a civil war. Let's see. They have Pyramid Builder Zero as a wazzle. They are guaranteed in the pet of the U. Well, uh, could I go ahead and declare war against. Oh, I could. I could. Uh, I think we are going to use that. Let's see. Muscovy. Military. The Moscovian. Army is well. I mean, the Polish is forty-eight thousand. The Lithuanian army is eighteen thousand. I think uh, beating Moscow shouldn't be a problem. They have twenty-two thousand one hundred. 
for the plus the losses makes around maybe uh, 30,000. Let's actually yeah, prepare ourselves for war. And war it shall be. Once more. War. Let's get artillery. Let's get two divisions each. Alright, now we have 26. That's fine. War. Yeah, we are going to wage the war against the Russians. So let's. A uh, couple of actions. Let's be not at work. I hope yeah, the Civil War is still going on. That's a great thing. I'm going to yeah take England a lot, of course. We have to, simply. So we uh, cut off the Russians uh, from the right. There we go. I'm going to blockade them as well. So this should not be a problem. Defeating their fleet at once, immediately. Yeah, Norway can build this planet work whatever I want. Oh, okay, you can. Uh, let's fabricate some claims. Bratsberg, uh, Bergensus. Let's stop using the network. Oh, uh, there's a golden era for the Ottomans. Look to that. Congratulations, Ottoman army. Okay, let's uh, see. I can maybe get someone useful for defense. Okay, that's not that useful. Mogorod has military tech 7 as well. Ah. Well, we don't have the advantage over them there. But uh, we should beat them nevertheless. I'm certain of victory. Well, if not, then the problem will uh, be victorious. Come on, we just need a bit more spy work, just a little bit more to justify against one province. Uh, I'll still lose. Um, okay, I guess let's force them to buy. The burgers are disloyal. Um, yeah, let's, uh, I'm going to grant monopoly charters. There we go. Now they are lovely again. Okay, I won't ask for their contribution. I'll just fabricate claim Ingram and land, stop building spy network, and then declare war. Take Poland. Oh no, I can't. No, I can. Okay, take Ingram and land, and. Yeah. There we go. Uh oh! Mothball forts. This is maybe a Mothball fort of Viborg and Abo. Just in case, our army marches into Novgorod. Here we go, defending the province of Lagoda, and there we can see the Polish Lithuanian forces. Well, Lithuania shouldn't fight on their own, I think. That's a bad idea. Yeah. Well, the Polish army has two divisions upcoming there, so rest in peace, Muscovy. Rest in peace, really. Uh, use it to strengthen the throne. Oh, oh, look to that little tiny army. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. They are. Okay, go the battle in Lake Lagoda. Oh, how are they winning? God damn it. No, no, they won't win. They okay, they are, they are win. okay, I'm surprised to be honest. I didn't expect them to win. God damn it. Uh oh, it's not nice. Come on, how can the Russian troops beat pristine, high quality Swedish troops? That's rather a problem. Now they are occupying my territories. I should maybe uh, also enable this fort. Activate it. And I think I need some mercenaries. Let's get a free, actually four men at arms. Okay, it will go into depth in this war, but we will be victorious. Our right, war taxes. All right. Now we have 30 divisions. Well, yeah, we should beat. We should win it easily. There's the Polish army. Uh oh, the Polish army retreated. The Russian army is being victorious, battle after battle, but not for long. Not for long. Come on, Sweden. Alright, let's go ahead. Give a uh, occupied Karelia. Come on, I could beat the Russian army right now. Come on, come on. 29,000 troops. They're escaping. Bloody don't escape! Oh, goddammit. Well, then let's besiege Novgorod. There we go, finally, we are fighting them. But how are we losing against the Russians? 40,000 troops, we are still. Well, we won finally, but their leader is just too great. Their leader is just too OP, man. That's well, having quite a toll on us, that's for sure. Now we can occupy England. Yeah, without the help of Poland, to be honest, I would have lost this war. Yeah, because of the OP general, we are losing battle after battle. Well, is Moscow occupied? Moscow is occupied. That's great. We occupied England land as well. Uh, well, that's glorious. That's the really glorious. 
And soon, Novgorod is also occupied, I'm going to uh, send this army away so they can just come and attack me and they'll be surprised at the end. And because of the attrition loss as well, of course. Yeah, England, I can sign the Pact of Marriage with you. There we go, now they are there. Well, the Polish Lithuanian forces are coming to aid in the wounded battle. Although, the, I don't know how the Russian troops are so good, come on, they should be way worse, to be honest. Siege of Novgorod, there we go, finally, at last, at last. Now let's uh, occupy this project of Pskov. Okay, there we go. Ah. Okay, the Polish are still high, so they won't leave the war anytime soon. That's great, that's great. Let's send them to this province so we can aid them if they need, if we need help in Pskov. Uh oh. It's not nice, but we'll aid them, come on. Okay, we are fighting them there, never mind, never mind. Oh, okay, that's a problem. Uh, how? The Russians! Come on, how are they beating me? Polish troops come to aid, come to aid. Okay, they're gonna pack them up. Come on, Poland. Beat him up, beat him up, Poland. Come on, come on. Where is this Polish army going? Fuck! <laughs> uh, I have no idea how the Russians are beating me battle after battle, to be honest. Oh, what? Civil war. Civil... Civil war? Oh. What? Ah, oh, God damn it. Currently in a disaster. Oh, a civil war is going to start quite soon. One of the four. Uh, hmm. That's not nice. When I need, I don't. I only have four defense. Well, the Polish just my manpower is completely drained. Yeah, it is completely drained. Completely. Come on, Paul, maybe I'll just occupy this province. Yeah, I'm completely dependent on Polish aid right now because my army is no more. My army is no more. Okay, yeah, what should I do? Um, well, we have Polish troops there and there. Poland getting them to aid there. Okay, let's see if the Russians attack them. Yes, they attack them. I have no clue how the Russians have such a high uh, war, skull, war goal, though. Well, I could take three provinces and that's it. Uh, I think I'm just going to um, get Pskov again, get Pskov independent because I can't uh, afford Pskov. Pskov, Luki. Luki. Let's see, should we take Luki or Holm? Let's take Luki because of the fort there. Let's take. Or Luke. Yeah, it looks better that way. No raid, Denmark, Sweden, my joint coalition, that, that's fine. Um, Poland is happy with the results. Okay, I have to end the war here. The war was a mistake against. I don't. I'm, I'm really surprised, to be honest, to see such a strong Russian army. I thought, okay, easy with our superbly developed really just march in. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. But it wasn't that way. Okay, we got at least 60 duke kits. There we go. Oh, we had 123,000 losses. We alone suffered 52,000 52, casualties. So we'll need to recover for a long time from this war. I'm going to uh, release. How can I release the country again? I hope it's possible. Um, mm -hmm. but can't I? I'm, I can release. Hello. Hello, I want to release this country. Are you not able to release... You you are, you are. Oh, here. On the view. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I see Pskov. Yeah, let them follow the Orthodox faith. A civil war is... Uh, uh. Well... I can take Inga Manland, but I'm going to grant Luki to the uh, Pskovians. Uh, so, sell province. Oh, we have to grant province. Where can we grant a province, please? Subject Pskov. I 
Uh, Grand Sicilian, no, no, Grand Province. Luki. Okay, Luki. There we go, the Grand Province is granted. Enjoy it, and I'm going to core. Oh, England, it's 22%, that's fine, let's go it. Although, I can imagine, yeah. Unless it's 22%, now I'll uh, give it Pskov as well. Pskov can have a province too. So, Grand Province, Ingham and Lands. Okay. What's law for them? Yeah. It's Consular Regiments and Standard Mercenaries. Well, I'm sure Denmark would have. Uh, well, they would strike against me, but I'm. Luck is on my side because I have such a strong ally, Poland. So thank you, Poland, for your aid. I see an independent and strong Piskov controlling some border provinces there and here. And Muscovy being completely cut off from the access to the Baltic Sea. Completely. It's time to mouth ball these forts again. Uh, we certainly do not need them right now. Uh, this war at quite the toll on us. We can purchase an ability, but they are the age of discovery. Foil the your law, justify the wars, transfer subjects, proved wars, cavalry armies. Oh, yeah. Well, I have no colonies yet, so I'm not sure what to choose, to be honest. I don't need anything, and we can just stay like that, getting nothing. Let's repay our debts. We always repay our debts. Yes, we do. Alright. Now, my manpower is a problem. With only 25,000, it's, uh, yeah. The Russians have a clear advantage there. Spare no expenses. Good. Look to that. I hope they won't cross into my province. Russia, please just defeat them. I hope they will just battle them and it should be fine. But yeah, the Russian. Oh, I have 8,000 troops there. Look to that. Oh, that's a pleasant surprise. I have no idea why they retreated to Poland, but okay. What should I get? Uh, um, I guess they can gain some influence and some loyalty. Nurtuborg is under their command. Is it because it's a trading? Is it a trading province? I think it is. Important area of trade, so they will get. Yeah, the burghers already control the province. That's nice. Do I have any other important areas of trade? Let's see. Um, uh, Riga. We'd have to capture Riga at one point. Yeah, that would be nice. Riga is currently independent, well, they are... Okay, well, the Livonian order is not being guaranteed by Denmark, so I think our next war will be against the Danish. So let's detach these uh, three. Well, let's keep them, we need mercenaries in our army. I think we need them. Okay, the Russian peasants war ended. Well, lucky for them, lucky for them, that's for certain. Let's see, so we have a active mission right now. Um, let's see. Very. Uh, it's what it's called. Free trade. Let's get some mercantilism, and it's time to colonize. So let's get to the exploration ideas. Let's get the colonial ventures. But I cannot explore, so that's a problem. Mm. I think I'm going to choose the native repression. I'm sorry, but yeah, it's repressive natives. <laughs> What's that rebel uprising? Now we've already separatists. Our oh, twenty thousand. Why? Dutborg, White Karelia, why is it 6.1? Let's push stability. In, why is it that high in Lagoda, for example? It is separatism intolerance. Uh, okay, I guess. Yeah, let's crush the uprising. Surely I don't really want to crush them. Though. Uh, we have to, we have to crush the uprising. That's great. Certainly great. Okay, or whatever. I'm, I'm gonna get my army ready then. Ready. I'm gonna train some more divisions. Let's see. I have only my units of cavalry, so I'm gonna train one, two, three, four, five more. So we have 14 units. Let's get the cardinal and let's also train two units of artillery. So we have four units of that. 
There we go. Yeah, certainly I could need... Well, guess what? More manpower. Oh, and they have risen 20,000. Oh, let's cut it. Let's hope they're gonna cross in the rushes so we don't have to uh, fight them. Uh, now I can actually combo the province. Now I can. Uh, Sign of separatists, but fine. Let's... Get a bit of Catholic. Faith. I thought, yeah, we don't need it to, but now uh, let's make a long-term investment. It's always better. Let's see, let's hope oh, we're getting many casualties, but we won. Okay. There we go. We got this for the occupied and great. Okay, that's nice, that's nice. Quest for a new world, that is what we want. Now I have to, uh, let's see, how can I explore them? See, I have nine ships. I think three light ships, maybe one bark, and uh, two light ships should be sufficient enough. There we go. Can I go ahead and explore? Explore. Let's explore the North Atlantic coast. This uh, is why I'm exploring their place. Whatever they are on their mission, so that's fine, I guess. Okay, I can get here yeah, some uh, trading out in the new Borg. The other province is not really required to. I can get some taxation, open 26 and open 23. Well, the exploration is finished quite quick. Let's explore the North Atlantic Sea. We have to seize this province of Norway. This would mean fighting against the uh, Norwegians and the Danish. Oh, we have the Age of Discovery. We have the Age of Discovery, so... This justifies war. Let's go and make... Uh, gains loyalty. With this influence. Um, okay. Let's see. Our aggressive expansion is quite high. 39 and 56. But against the other countries, it's, it's still quite high. So I shouldn't... Uh, attack any countries anytime soon. Unless I want to make a big coalition against me. Exploration finished, glad to hear, can't we... Yeah, must be a little Oh, our colonization range is quite bad. Our oh, age of discovery is ending, so I should just get something. Let's get uh, justified wars, maybe. That's only valid for 120 more months, so we don't get any gain from there, unfortunately. Well, that's fine, I guess. We proved the legitimacy of our king. Great. We are getting, well, six ducats per month. Of course, the missionary is yeah, also doing his job rather well. I'm gonna wipe. I don't want to make the difference too big. There we go. And this province would have become, there we go, Catholic. Catholic. Okay, the other one's like too much. Sacra oh, what? Wow, Sacred the First head is a 6 3 3 leader. Sacred First attention to defense and superior administrative skills will aid us in reforming our administration and in maximizing our taxes. Now we are getting 11 administrative power per month. 11. Truth has ended. Uh, Muscovy is, is quite big to be honest. They have only 16,000 troops. Up to 2000, well, their, lim their limit is quite high, the Muscovian limit is quite high. And I r remember one thing, I want to go to war against them unless I'm actually ready. Uh, actually, my army is bigger. Let's see, um, our manpower is to recover, as they have to recover, I guess. Yeah, if I research this, then my colonial age will increase massively. We can get workshop and military technology. Uh, okay, I guess I can go for the prestige loss. Past the Heretic Combrando Act. Oh. Okay. Why not? Uh, conversation time is still too high, so Papa, so we um, reform desire. Is a hundred and four percent. Well, let's hope for a big reward. Let's see. I can bless ruler. Yeah, I want to get. Yeah, I want to beautify local science. 
Well, soon I can increase my stability by one, which I will do. There we go. No. Yeah, we have minus prestige, unfortunately. That's because we have uncontested cost as well. Oh, let's use exploration. Now I'll go for the naval ambitions. Naval ambitions as well, be. But now we have to wait. Let our economy recover, rebuild, etc., etc., etc. Okay, uh, taxation, open 13. Uh, Navy. Navy defense production. Oh, 1.46, hell yeah! 25 is also quite decent, so let's go for that. Well, it costs 100, A. Let's cost also 100. That's fine. There we go. Uh, send him to Rome. Send him to Rome. So I can get another uh, beautiful local sign from them. Skov has insulted us. Don't they like us? Well, they do. I have no idea why. They're gonna stay out of water for a long time because I intend to give them the Russian land I conquer so I don't have to be, uh, worry about covering the territory. Yeah, but I found out weird that they only have one division. I mean, I'm sure they could have fielded more with their current country. Protestantism entrenched. A soon a new age starts, the age of reformation it will be. Yeah. Oh, what the. Oh, the Protestant faith is already uh, developing. That's very interesting, but it is quite weak still, yeah, it's still quite weak. It's quite strong here, it's just converting province after province. But still the Catholic uh, religion is currently dominating, but for how long is the question, for how long? If the Swedish Empire converts, then, yeah, things are gonna turn interesting. Yeah, my technology is 50% because I, I didn't embrace the renaissance yet, so that's why I'm struggling that much. Good to see. I guess I can go for diplomatic focus right now. But why... Yeah, when can I actually embrace when... Where's the institution's path? Institution's path... Um, nothing like that. Let's add another map mode, institutions. That was the territories, areas, the station, institutions. Okay. Yeah, my country is. Renaissance is not even present. What? It's present. I'm the only country who did not embrace the Renaissance yet. That's present in Stockholm at least. Yeah, now, now we see it, okay, yeah, it's present in some provinces, my country is slowly being developed in the renaissance. Yeah, slowly but steadily, the house of Gilda, okay, Carl Gustav, Carl Gustav Sacre, it's always that name, okay. There we go, okay, slowly, Ellsburg is going to turn into the renaissance soon. Okay, um, now our next mission will be to income, no, to uh, prestige. Well, this will take some time, so let's uh, select no mission yet. Yeah. Okay. Now I can embrace the Renaissance and embrace. There we go, now it's embraced. Oh, we've become a great power. Nice, we've become a great power. Now let's. Uh, Sweden is a great power, the Kingdom of Sweden. We are 8th. Okay, our rating is 283. Moscow is still really ahead. Yeah, they have very higher development. We do, that's the problem. Moscow, yeah. To beat them, they are a big nation. They are just expanding and expanding. That's the main problem here right now. I have to well take care of them. The Livonian Order likes me. They view me as a natural ally, but I don't view them as a natural ally. Riga is allied. Well, if I attack Riga, I also attack the lower in order. That's a great thing, isn't it? Yeah. It is, without a doubt. So let's see, let's uh, explore. I cannot explore. Oh, no, I can. So ambition Renaissance Fart, so there we go. Let's explore the North Atlantic Sea. So I can start, finally start colonizing. I'm going to get three colonizing divisions up. Let's 
frame these three in the province. And then detach some three uh, cocks to carry them into the new worlds. Carry them to the new worlds. Yeah, the age of discovery is ending in seven months, though. That's a problem. For the Englishman like me, uh, we share world ties with the Polish, we share world ties too. Uh, yeah. Being a lot of the people is always a good thing. Uh, now we can select it. I think I need an explorer, yeah. I need an explorer. I do. 3, okay. Uh, it's Conquisator, they're called. Let's, yeah. I think I can colonize this province already. I don't need to get uh, Iceland from Norway, I think. I'm just fine this way. Yeah, I think I am. From east to west, this is the age of religious conviction, debates and mass movements. In Europe, Protestantism is entrenched while millenarism takes hold of Iran and says religious syncretism shapes Indian society. Now, a new age. It's only a new age. A new age in the top of the world. Oh, I can't. It's too far away. Let's come with trade us, it's fine, we'll get some depth. Finish exploring. Explore the North Atlantic coast, I'd say. And let's get overseas. Can I colonize it now? No, I can't. Oh, it's just 30 away. That's not good. I need to either conquer this province or wait until I go to the next research. Anyways, I'm gonna take a cut here. So thank you all for um, for joining me. Go sure to check out my other content. And I hope to wish you all next time. I'm sacred and have a good day to you all and see you next time. Goodbye and let me know what you think of this episode. Anyways, goodbye and take care.